So who has a better triple double? Is it Simone or is it Kenzo? Is it the guy or is it the girl? Let's find out. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a fun video. I've had one of you ask me to analyze Simone's triple double, but while looking for a video to analyze her triple double, I also found a comparison video of her triple double to another man's triple double. I believe the way you pronounce his name is Kenzo. Um, I don't know how to say his last name. Kenzo Sh Shirai? I'm not sure. I'll have it, like I said, it's all below the information. So sorry, I'm probably definitely saying that wrong, but I think I'm saying his first name right, uh, Kenzo. So I found this video of Simone and Kenzo's triple double being compared, which answers the question from my last video. I could have sworn another guy did this, but I wanted to say Simone was the only one to do it, but I stand corrected. A guy has done this before. So this video is going to be a comparison of is Simone's better or is Kenzo's better? And I'm super excited to do it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, first we're going to watch Kenzo's triple double. This is in uh, a little bit of a slow motion, so right there you can see, triple double, lands pretty low, that one hurt my knee a little bit. That one was much better. Here is Simone's. And then this is another one of hers in slow motion. So first I'm gonna break down the triple double in general, and then I'm gonna do my opinion piece on whose I think is better. So let's first break down the triple double right here out of the round by Can't Spring. Mind you, this is gonna be two backflips. There's one backflip, there is two backflip. I know it's really hard to tell because she's twisting, but they're there, okay? Now going into the first flip, notice how her left and right arm, the left arm is going to pull into the left shoulder while the right arm is going above her head and that's going to initiate the pull of the twist. So she's starting the first full and this is her about to finish the first flip. She's got to make sure she is flipping and twisting as that first flip rises to ensure that she has enough height for the second flip and twists. So as she finishes the first one, she's going to keep tucking those arms in, keeping her knees bent so she's as aerodynamic as possible. Starting the second flip right here and starting the one, two twist, eyes open to see her landing right there. So um, very similar to... You know, a lot of the techniques she's going to do that I, I think I talked about in, in one video of hers when she did uh, her double-double out of her front handspring lay full. That left arm, because she's a... Uh, well, actually, hold on. She's twisting left. Oh, that is so interesting. So she twists right going forward, but left going double-double. I didn't realize that when I made the video. Oh, wow. So she's ambidextrous, which is super impressive. So she can twist kind of any way in gymnastics. So I'm a lefty too, so I definitely understand which way she's pulling. So as she sets into her first flip, she's going to pull her left arm toward her left shoulder, like you saw. And then that right arm is going to kind of pull and yank the rest of her body around. So she's got to make sure she's going super aggressive on that first twist to start the momentum. She gets that momentum going, and then she just has to stay in that shape and keep pulling from her shoulders and her ribs and her abs essentially everything, but it starts here and kind of trickles down. But she's got to go pull, pull, pull everything in her body and keep those pulling, keep that pull going throughout all the rest of the twists to make sure she's still twisting in the air, all while still, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, c c contracting her abs as she's doing the flips to make sure she's actually flipping. So not only is she having to focus on pulling her knees over her head, lifting her butt up over her head, actually flipping through the air, but also twisting as she's doing all that. So you want to talk about why gymnasts have really strong core? This is why, okay? We are literally flipping while having to do all of these twists. Like, you got to be strong somewhere to be able to do all this, and it's going to be the core in the back area, which obviously the back includes the core. But regardless, you got to be using your stomach area and your back. If this gnat doesn't leave me alone, I swear to God. You've got to be pulling through your abs, your back to be as small in a ball as possible when you're doing the flips to keep the flips going, plus while you're doing all the twists. So that's essentially the technique of the double-double is first you got to know how to do a double back if you understand that, uh, that motion of constantly pulling your legs and your butt, your sacrum over your head, pulling your chest, being strong enough to do it. You understand how fulls work and double twists work. Then you just start kind of finding air awareness and the timing of doing the full on the first flip and then a trip or a double on the second flip. 
There's a reason a lot of people, a lot of people don't do this skill. It's extremely difficult. And the air awareness that you have to have to know, okay, I'm on the first flip, do the first twist. I'm on the second flip, let's do the, the two twists. Like, I could not even imagine. I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to, like, feel what maybe that would feel like. And I just, I would be so scared to try this because there's so much going on that you've got to be able to keep up with. And it's extremely difficult. So that's a double-double in of itself. Obviously, you have to be extremely strong to do this as well. But let's jump back in into the comparison video. Here is Simone and Kenzo going back or side by side. Uh, or sorry, I guess they're more of Simone. But now they're going side by side. So I want to break this down and go slow because I have my obvious answer. So I'm interested to see everybody else's answer at the end of this video. So here we go into Simone and Kenzo's Rounded by Can't Spring. Something interesting that I noticed is they're on the same motion speed. And Simone's is so much faster than Kenzo's. Uh, so they're on the same punch of the round off, the same punch of the back handspring. Now watch how fast she twists and flips compared to him. You see that? Watch it again. There she goes, like a little torpedo. His is more like dun 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 dun. Hers is very dun dun dun. <laughs> Do you like my sound effects? Uh, so I think that's super interesting. Like it just goes to show how fast she flips and twists whenever she is tumbling. Now I'm not gonna stop it. I'm gonna kind of let it play through and you can kind of see it to your naked eye. But see how much faster she twists than him? And let's also go back and analyze how much higher she goes than him. This is why in my opinion, Simone's is better. She is like half a flip higher than him. So look at where her top flip is at and where his is at. She's like, she's way above him in that first flip. And she keeps rising. Like she's way above him. And she like will flip on the, and twist on the way up. I don't feel like Kenzo did that as much. And if he, I mean, he does a little bit, but I feel like he doesn't get as much height of her. So it kind of makes kind of like a, it's kind of deceitful to the eye, but I think she does a much better job of getting higher and doing more flips and twists on the way up and really pulling out that double quickly. And she also lands better than him. She has, I also know that's a boy technique too, so I don't want to be too harsh. The boys do land with their chest down. See, if we landed like he did, they'd be like, eh, deduction. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this is a deduction of boys, but I could be wrong. I don't know anything really about boys gymnastics, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I do. But all I know is if we landed like that, our coaches and the judges would be like, you're fired. So she lands, in my opinion, much better. And I think her height is way better. I also think her form is way better. I also think it's just more appeasing to the eye to watch hers. I think Kenzo's is great. I'm not trying to knock on him, uh, knock on him at all. But I think the reason I like Simone's better is because she's in a more tuck shape. And Kenzo's more kind of in an open shape, which... Honestly, the technique Kenzo's doing where he's kind of more in an open tuck is harder uh, to get around than if you're in a smaller shape just because of aerodynamics. But I feel pretty confident saying I think Simone's is better than Kenzo's, but we're not going to sit here and say that Kenzo's isn't great either because it is. The fact that he can do this skill is very impressive and I don't want to take anything away from him, but I definitely think Simone's is better. And again, it's because it's higher. I think her form is better. I think both of their feet get sloppy towards the end because they're both waiting to open. But then I think she lands better and they both stuck that one. So I can't really judge the landing, but that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the, uh, in the comments below. Do you think Simone's better? Do you think Kansas is better? And why do you think that? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you liked it. Also, please be sure to comment below more videos you want me to break down, analyze, or see. And I will get those as soon as I can. Thanks. See you guys in my next one. Bye.